In this video, we are going to run through the basics of printing an image using printable heat transfer paper, using the Silhouette Studio software, and cut out the transfer, removing any unprinted surroundings. To do this, we need to correctly print the image and create the cut lines. First, you need to open your image in Silhouette Studio. You can open most types of image file in the software. Here, we are going to open a JPEG. The image must fit within the cut area marked out on screen. With this image, we want to print it to heat transfer paper and then have the silhouette cut around the outer edge to remove the unprinted areas. Anytime you want to cut a printed image, you need to print with registration marks. These are added by clicking here and are used by the cutter as a reference point so it knows where to cut as it can't actually see the image. You have a few options when it comes to creating the cut lines. We are going to use the trace options here. Click select trace area and then click on the page and drag the cursor over the entire image. To create a line around the whole image, we need to untick the high pass and low pass filters here. We do not need these now. Now increase the threshold slider until the entire image is highlighted in yellow. This yellow indicates what will be cut out. Next, click the trace outer edge option. Now you can see the red line has appeared around your image, indicating this is where it will cut. You have the option here of adding an offset to the cut line to leave a border around your image, or an internal offset moving the cut line inwards. This can be used to ensure the printed area runs right up to the cut, similar to bleed when designing for print. If you are printing on a paper that requires you to mirror your image, you can do that in Silhouette Studio by selecting All, and then using these transform options. Now you are ready to print your transfer, so just go to File and Print. Once it is printed, it's time to cut. Position your transfer onto the silhouette cutting mat, making sure that the corners of the page are aligned with the A4 markings. Load it into the machine and press enter, making sure that load cutting mat is selected on the screen. Next, move along to the cut setting section. In this section, you specify how fast and with how much cut force you want the machine to apply. There is a list of preset settings which are set up for Silhouette's own materials. As we are using heat transfer paper, we could try using their heat transfer material setting as a starting point. But over time, it is best to experiment with the materials you are using to find your own optimum settings. For the paper we are using, we only require a blade setting of 1, a speed of 5 and a thickness of 1. You will need to manually set the amount of blade exposed, which is done by turning it in this adjustment socket. Also check all other settings are correct. We have a cutting mat ticked as we are using one and we do not need track enhancing or double cut for what we were doing here. Check you have a blade selected rather than a pen. When you are happy, the settings are correct, click cut. Now the cutter will pull the mat in and start by detecting the registration marks and start performing the cut. <laughs> Once the cutter has finished the cut, eject the cutting mat. Now it's time to weed your image and press. In following videos, we will look in more depth at trace functions and other methods of making your image into a cuttable design. Thank you for watching.